Three killed and two injured after gunmen sets fire to building in Houston, police chief says. This was written by Michelle Watson for CNN. This was originally published on August 28th, 2022, Sunday. Sunday in a Christian nation, a mass shooting can happen in a very red state like Texas. Let's get to the text. Three people were killed and two people were injured early Sunday morning after a man dressed in all black set fire to a building and then shot at people fleeing, Houston Police Chief Troy Finner said in a news conference. The suspect was later killed by a Houston police officer, Finner said. The victims, all men, range in age from 40 to 60 years old. This is a horrible tragedy, and I believe this story might maybe get some mainstream media attention just because of how horrific and heinous it is but the heinous thing is that many other mass shootings happened on this same day in america and it will not be mainstream media attention most people will not hear about the several other mass shootings that i will cover on this channel today because for americans it's normal it's normal to hear about four or more people getting killed and countless other american bodies laying out in the streets it's normal. Police and fire personnel received multiple calls around 107 a.m., Finner said. One call was about a person down. A one, one call came in as a shooting and another call came in as a fire call. The suspect, unfortunately and very sadly and very evilly, set fire to several residents, Finner said. The suspect then laid in what laid in wait for those residents to come out and fired upon them, he said. The incident occurred at a multi-room rental facility near 8020 Dunlap Street, Finner said. The fire department arrived at the scene first to fight the fire, but had to retreat from the gunman upon arrival, he said. What a sick dude. What a really sick dude. Now, in other countries, people commit arson. In other countries, people want to hurt other people. But in other countries, they do not have easy access to weapons. And many people will still make the state exceptionalism argument. In my state, we do background checks. In my state, we have, I don't know, laws that prohibit sex offenders or people uh, convicted of domestic violence getting uh, weapons or we do universal background checks or something like that. But in America, it's too easy to get guns legally or illegally, right? All legal guns were once purchased. All illegal guns were once purchased legally and criminals will find their way to get guns. But can we make it harder to get it? Do we hear about mass shootings in Australia, in New Zealand, in Germany, in Italy, in France at the level we do in the United States? No, 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 no. It does not happen. It does not happen. But to many Americans, they'll find some excuse. They'll do some mental gymnastics to say that this is normal because Jesus wanted this on a Sunday in a Christian nation, as so many right wing conservative nuts love to say. The suspect began to fire. I don't know if he was firing in their direction, but they had to take cover, Finner said. Shortly afterward, a Houston police officer arrived and found the suspect in a parking lot just across the street from the facility, Finner said. The suspect, an African-American male, was dressed in all black and was about 40 years old, Finner added. I want to say we need to not racialize violence in America. Too many people in America commit violence against each other. I've covered on my channel mass shootings, and the perpetrators are of all ethnicities, all backgrounds. Most of them male, though I have had one female mass shooter on my channel before. But still, uh, these shootings happen to all sorts of people, to, to everybody. And we had the kids in Evalde killed. Most of them were Hispanic. And tops, the shooter was white. Most of them were black. Many of the mass shootings I cover of murder suicides and, and uh, family gatherings and house parties that get shot up, all those sorts of things, they're of all different types of people. So we need to stop racializing violence. We need to stop saying, see, this is why X group is bad. Or see, that's why X group is a target. It's not. It's not. It happens all over the country. Okay. An officer, a seven-year veteran, engaged in gunfire with the suspect, who is now dead, Finner said. The officer is now on administrative leave per department protocol. I'm very proud of him, Finner said. Who knows? That suspect probably would have tried to shoot somebody else. The alleged gunman was a longtime resident at the facility, the chief said, but had received, recently received an eviction notice. So this person probably was about to be evicted because we live in a capitalist society where you have to pay for housing. Housing is not guaranteed, of course. And he was able to take out his grievance or his frustration uh, with a weapon. Some people will jump in the comments and say, this person was mentally unstable. This person was insane, right? Presumably, yes. Sure. Sure. He was unstable. He was insane. But this is actually the minority, the, ma 
the majority of mass shootings that I cover on my channel are of people, presumably of sound mind and body, who decide or or in the heat of moments or in the heat of passion decide to take out their anger or their frustration or settle their grievance with violence. And we make that too easy in America by allowing too many guns to flood. How hard is this to understand? We don't have these mass shootings in Canada, in the UK, in, in Lithuania, any other country that America is supposed to be better than. We, we fail in almost every metric. We don't hear about mass shootings in China. A billion people can have their society be relatively safe and calm. Meanwhile, in the United States, I can't live in my apartment without some asshole burning it down <laughs> and then shooting everybody that runs out. It's insane. It's ridiculous. All right. Uh, that may have been a trigger point for him. I don't know. Finish said the district attorney's office is investigating the incident and the Houston police department is conducting its own investigation. Finish said, this is not the la uh, first mass shooting I've covered in Houston. And it will not be the last until Americans get rid of the gun culture until they start till they stop worshiping the gun and thinking that having the gun makes them American, makes them big and bad, makes them free, makes them liberated. It does not. It's only causing more and more American bodies to drop every single day. What a bloody Sunday. What a bloody, bloody Sunday in a Christian nation. My name is Simon Hill. Thank you for watching.